At dawn on the 9th of December 2011, David Rennie, The Economist's budget columnist, woke to discover that David Cameron had done what numerous British prime ministers had threatened in the past. He'd exercised his veto in Brussels. Rennie used his blog that day to set out his analysis of the situation. Britain did not walk out of the EU last night, but let there be no doubt about it, we have started falling out. Rennie argues that when Cameron exercised the veto at around 4am Brussels time, he pushed Angela Merkel towards the French and isolated Britain from the rest of Europe. Angering Sarkozy, Merkel and other European leaders was only part of Cameron's problem. Crucially, Rennie writes, he did this without much gain for the UK. Mr Cameron did not stop France, Germany and the other 15 members of the Eurozone from going ahead with what they are proposing. He asked for safeguards for financial services and France and Germany said no. That's not wielding a veto. That's called losing.